What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back again for a reaction and today's a great, wonderful, beautiful, amazing day because it's a Norway day. History of the Royal Family of Norway. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. So I didn't know that you guys had a royal family so this is going to be very interesting. This video covers the Royal Family of Norway and you don't want to skip this video. The Norwegian royal family is frequently referred to as the world's most hip royal family. Oh, really? But why are they so usually regarded as the most... Okay, so this is the royal family. She looks very regal. They're all in suits. Very formal picture. Hmm. Okay. They look a little bit more informal. When he said hip, they look a bit more informal than the British royal family. I feel that the British royal family feel a bit more kind of stiff they seem like they're kind of relaxed a bit slump like their posture they doesn't seem like a normal family interesting let's have a let's learn about your royal family guys let's go Just modern royals the family's success is largely attributed to their openness to the public their relatable right. character and their inclusive outlook they commonly use public transportation and routine domestic flights in norway Right. And they are frequently spotted in public places, including on National Day, which falls on May 17. Their persuasive public he just dab. Another fact. <laughs> Who's that little one? He just dabbed. That was quite funny. Look. Which falls on May 17. <laughs> so they're quite normal. See, see, why isn't our royal family like that? Our royal family is very, very stiff. Very stiff, very... They're into formality. This is the reason why Harry fell out with the family because, you know, the, he wanted to do things his own way. He, you know, he's more 2023 20, and they're more 1932 <laughs> as a family. So, yeah, interesting. Their persuasive public speeches are another factor in their appeal. The spoken communications of the Norwegian royal family attest to their inclusiveness, compassion, and openness. King Harold recently said in a speech that Norwegians come from all parts of the kingdom, including the north, the center, and the south. Okay. Additionally, immigrants from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Poland, Sweden, Somalia, and Syria have settled in Norway. Royal House and Family In Norway, the Royal House, wow. Kongusit, and the Royal Family, Kongolaj Family, are Very clearly nice house. separate. The heir apparent and their spouse as well as the heir apparent's eldest child, are the only members of the royal house. The ro Wait, isn't that Swedish? That's the Swedish royal family, isn't it? That's, this, that's the, the Swedish one. The royal house. The royal family, in comparison, has a considerably more expansive meaning. All of the monarch's children, their spouses, grandkids, and underlings are included. The king, H.M. The family's head is Harold V. The King of Norway, who was born on February 21, 1937. 1937 Following the passing of his father, King Olaf V, Harold ascended to the throne on January 17, 1991. Okay. King Olaf V and Princess Martha of Sweden had three children together, but their only child was King Harold V. Norway's royal family is not as secretive as some other royal families are. Yeah, like Along with other members of the current royal family, the king has there played an is. important role in the modernization and organization of the family, which includes a certain level of openness and accessibility to the public. In the past, King Harold V was a passionate sportsman. He participated in the sailing competition at the Olympic Games in 1964, 1968, and 1972. Okay. He also won a bronze medal in 1988. Can we see him when he was younger? I would like to see a picture of him when he was younger. And a silver medal at the 1982 World Sailing Championships. Ajam, the Queen. Queen Sanja was born on... Why did they show a picture of the king when he was younger? On July 4, 1937. On August 29, 1968. They were wed in the cathedral in Oslo. She was crowned queen on January 17, 1991. Well, it was a bit younger than that. In 1959, she first met the then crowned Prince Harold, and they went on to date for nine years. Uh -huh. But for a while, the connection was kept under wraps because she was a commoner. King Olaf, uh -huh. the crown prince's father, 
eventually granted the couple his blessing so they could be together and get married. In the past, Queen Sanja has worked on and taken part in a number of humanitarian initiatives, including founding the Princess Martha Louise's Fund and serving as the Vice President of the Norwegian Red Cross. The Princess nice. Martha Louise's Fund was established to aid disadvantaged children in Norway. HMR8, the Crown Prince, Haakon Magnus, the 46-year-old heir to the throne, is the Crown Prince of Norway. Okay. He is King Harald V's so, only son and Queen Sanja's second child. So he's going to be the king. He's the heir to the throne. Okay. He is wed to Met Merit Chesum Hybe. He's your William. HR8, the Crown Princess. Princess Ingrid Alexandra and Prince Sver Magnus are their joint offspring. In addition, Matt Merritt has an elder child from a prior union named Marius borg -Hadi. The Crown Prince earned a political science bachelor's degree from the University of California, Berkeley, okay. in 1999. At the London School of Economics, where he completed his schooling, he earned a master's degree in developmental studies. His military experience includes the Royal Norwegian Navy. He Princess Martha Louise, King Harold and Queen Sanja only have one child, Princess Martha Louise. She okay. was married to author, playwright, and visual artist Ari Ban, who tragically committed suicide on December 25, 2019. Le what? That's horrible. He committed suicide. That's horrific in 2019. Oh, that's horrible. And he had kids as well. You know, people that have, suffer with mental health issues like that, and they have kids, they must have been really, he must have been really struggling. To leave his kids, it must have been painful. That's poor kids. Leah Isadora, Emma Talula, and Maude Angelica Band were their three children. Nevertheless, the couple split in 2017. Right. A Princess Astrid. A Princess Astrid is the younger sister of King Harold V and the second child of King Olaf V. In 1932, she was born in Oslo. Similar to her brother, she too would join Martin Ferner, a commoner, and the two later had five children together. In okay, they like marrying people outside of the royal family, right? Outside of the, not just royal family, but you know, like, um, noblemen and aristocrats. They like to marry outside of that. Good for them. 2015, her husband passed away. During World War II, she and other family members fled Norway and temporarily settled on the east coast of America. She okay. relocated to Oxford, England, shortly after the war to pursue her studies in economics and political history. Right. Princess Astrid is the younger sister of H.A. Princess Ragnhal who died in 2012 aged 82. Princess oh, Ragnhar, rest in peace. despite being King Olaf V's firstborn, was never in line to be on the Norwegian throne. This was because the country's agnatic law of succession. Interestingly though, during her lifetime, she was positioned 16th and 17th to take her place on the British throne. Royal properties. Oh, oh British pro Now oh, let's okay. take a look at the palaces and other buildings. The Royal Palace, the Norwegian royal family have various places of residence in Norway. Okay. The most notably and recognizable of those abodes is wow. the Royal Palace. It is located at Slottsplassen in Oslo, right at the end of the city's main street, Carl Johans Gate. Along with City Hall and the Opera House, the Royal Palace is one of the more frequent images on the front of postcards. Okay. Lidl. Lidl is the name of the king's official home, the municipality of Stavanger. That's the cute. home was rebuilt Big. in 1863, 60 years after it was constructed between 1799 and 1803. It was initially primarily utilized as a vacation home by the Keelan family after being constructed by rich businessman and shipowner Gabriel Keelan. It was first used as a royal house soon after undergoing additional renovations. It's a massive house. Look at all, these, all the rooms. And that's just one side of the house. And then obviously the top rooms as well. It's a big house. In 1949, not long after the end of the Second World War, Oskarshal. Oskarshal is wow. a summer palace situated on the Bidoy Peninsula in Oslo. It was That's built beautiful. in 1852 after being commissioned by King Oskar and Queen Josephine. 
A scarshawl is one of the country's finest examples of neo-Gothic style, a type of wow. architecture that was popular in the age of Norwegian Romanticism. The public can visit That's the beautiful. palace each summer when guided tours can be taken. Other royal properties include a farm on Big Doe, a mountain chalet in Gudbrandsdal Valley at Vinstra, Gamlehagen in Bergen, and of course, what royal doesn't have its own royal yacht. History they have a lot less properties than the British royal family. The British royal family has like multiple palaces, like huge multiple palaces, which probably could form a bit of resentment from the public, right? Because we're looking at them and they're, they're filthy rich in terms of property. Um, whereas this, that's a bit more respectable for a royal family, um, what he was listing there. And looking at, you know, his, the king's main residence, it just seems like, quite not a normal home if it's a huge stately home but it they just seem more accessible as a family than our royal family the establishment and unification of norway as well as the reign of its first king harald i of the fair hair dynasty are where the history and origin of the norwegian monarchy may be traced a single monarch and one royal family were only permitted to reign through succession with the establishment of the Norwegian Law of Succession in 1163. During the calmer union in the late Middle Ages, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark oh, shared that? a single ruler, and Norway stayed united with Denmark yeah, I heard that. until Sweden left the union. There was a lot of like the king of the king of Norway, Denmark and Sweden, or the king of Denmark and Norway. Like there's a lot of kings because I was looking one time. And also, apparently, I'm related to one of those kings as well. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what are you talking about? Wait one second, I will show you. So yeah, guys, I'm... <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing you this, but I'm on this uh, family tree, or this tree, and apparently, I am related to Frederick I of Denmark and Norway and Oldenburg, King of Denmark and Norway, he is my cousin 17 times removed. He's my sixth cousin 17 times removed. So technically, guys, I am related, related <laughs> to the King of Denmark and Norway. So, um, yeah, it's so weird. So obviously, guys, not directly related, but I'm related by marriage and by unions here and there. Interestingly enough, that's some um, useless facts for you. Union in 1523. Following the Reformation, a joint Danish-Norwegian state was established 1536 to 37, which was ruled from Copenhagen by the House of Oldenburg until Norway was ceded to Sweden at the Treaty of Kiel in 1814, following Denmark-Norway's defeat in the Napoleonic Wars. Okay. Norway was briefly independent with its own king in 1814, but was forced into a new union with Sweden under the rule of the House of Bernadotte. Right. Upon becoming independent in 1905, Norway decided through a referendum to remain a monarchy, with its first monarch being the Danish-born King Haakon VII, whose family consisted of the British Princess Maud and their son Olav. It is King Haakon's descendants that today make up the current royal family of Norway. Through marriages and historical alliances, the Norwegian royal family is closely related to the Swedish and Danish royal families, as well right. as being more distantly related to the royal families of Greece and the United Kingdom. What do you mm. think about our video? Let me know. All the royal families are related. Um, pff, all families are related, obviously. Um, I think everyone can trace their ancestry back to a royal family at some point. It just depends how close related you are but yeah guys that was very interesting i'm learning about the norwegian royal family i think i like your royal family better than ours in the uk <laughs> guys thank you very much for watching until the next one i will see you later